So, hey guys, I'm actually in Dick's right now. They have a bunch of... So, hey guys, I'm in here at Dick's, looking at the fishing stuff. And, yeah, so, we got a lot of stuff here. Let's, we got the, the best rod and reel in the world, the rocket fishing rod. Some, some, definitely some, some shiner rods right here. Those, uh... Yes, another shiner rod. Oh, here's my, my saltwater rod, guys. Um, and this is the saltwater section. And there's all the boots. We're not looking for the saltwater. Oh, let's look at the kids. Oh, the duck. This is what I want for Christmas. What? Oh, this is good. It's perfect, though. Look at that. How much is that? 15 bucks. It's like $2. Oh, what's this? Ready tackle? Oh, let's look at all these grubs. Dang, some bobbers, some more grubs, a jig head. Not a bad rod. Overall, not bad. But if I was to go with one, I'd definitely go with this. Seems like Zebco makes a lot of starter rods. Like a lot of them. So, yeah. Uh, is this like a live killing bucket? No, no. A cricket basket. Okay. Uh, this is some more salt water, I believe. Oh no, there's like a live action something. Are there some other stuff? So right now we're looking for a jig. So yeah, so I'm thinking it's gonna be in this aisle, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's some. Let's get some squids for fresh water. Oh, these are, oh, this is a bunch, I think this is still more, uh, so there's still some salt water mixed in with all this. Dang, look at that. Mars with attitude. Is that like a super mega, like, what is it? Look at that eel. Oh, I wonder if it's, wild cat by the A. Uh. Yeah, I don't think the jigs are in here. There's a bunch of soft plastics. Like some some of these eight dollar Gary Yamamoto's. Uh some more stuff like that. Wait. How much is this fishing scale? Twenty five dollars. I don't know, I'll just get a rock. Some on sale jewelrys. Uh no, some more stuff. No, 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 nothing, nothing. Oh, here's some jig trailers, so it's gotta be around here somewhere. Definitely gotta be around here somewhere. Uh, there's a bunch of jig trailers, I believe. Oh, here's what I got in my, uh, I got a lucky tackle box. I was, I'm gonna upload it soon, guys. I got that. So, they had, oh, I got some more rivets. I might have to pick some of those up. I'm gonna get some more jig trailers, I believe. But now we're, oh, so they got a bunch of frogs over here. Some live books. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that bluegill imitation. That's not bad. It's very cool. Some savage gear. Some live target stuff. Umbrella rigs, I believe. Uh, now, where are the jigs? Oh, live target thread fin shed. $10. Bro. I need I need to get some gift cards here. This is like, like, oh, some ducks. Nice. Uh, now where are the jigs? I don't think the jigs are in here actually. No, jigs are not in here. Nothing. This is a bunch of rooster tails. Some stuff. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, here's some of the spinner baits. Oh, my friend get, got me this thing. It's $12. Uh, he got that for me. I don't see any jigs. Unless I missed them. I mean, I saw the jig trailers, but not the jigs. Oh, some nice spinner baits. These are. Wait, are these jigs? I think these are. No, wait, these are spinners. I believe. Uh, yeah, those are spinners. Where are the jigs? Voice crap. Uh, nothing. 
Where are the stinking jigs? Hey! Are there some starter rods? Some barb? Some barbers? Uh, some stupid weights. I need some super tiny jig heads like these. Those are four dollars. This is like I might even need smaller than that. That's the thing. Ooh, these are pretty good, I think. One thirty second ounce. Yeah, I think these are the right size. Yeah, four dollars. Dang, are they like more expensive as they go smaller or something? Those are pretty these are pretty small for like five bucks. Let's look for some better ones. Like five dollars for that. That oh that dang, that's a lot bigger. See that's sixteenth and that's four dollars. So I guess it's like Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with these 32 ounces. 32nd ounce. I think I'm yeah, that's that's the move guys. 32nd ounce. So now we need to actually look for these jigs. Oh well here they are. Mini flip jigs. I'm looking for a 3 8 ounce jig. Football jig. I mean, finesse jig. 3 8th. Well, let's look. Oh, what's this? 1 half. No, that's too. 3 8th or a quarter. Oh, sorry, guys. Some couple just like came up behind me and didn't want to make me look weird. Ooh, 3 8 ounce blue. Bluegill, it says. Made with Gamat School hooks. Let's look at that. It's not bad. What's this? Oh, uh, well, you mix. It doesn't say the weight. It feels too light. Terminator, half. So it's a, oh, three eighths. That's a little. I don't like that. I like this color better. Is this a. Oh, that's a football jig. I want a finesse jig. Do they have any finesse jigs over here? What's this? Uh, one half. One quarter. These are some more footballs. Three eighths, but that's not the right color. Sorry, guys. My phone calling. I can't find any finesse jigs in the color. Like, well, I can't even find any finesse jigs right here. Half ounce. Half ounce. In my area, these are like the goats. This is a little heavy, but it looks okay. I need a quarter. Uh, sorry to kind of leave you guys on an edge, but now uh, we finished. And now I'm in the Christmas tree shop with my mom. So... Once we get back in the car and on our way to Chick Fil A, I'll uh, I'll see ya. Then and show you what I got. See ya. Right now, guys, I'm I'm, I'm sitting in a, a shopping cart at uh at uh, Costco. So see you when we get back in the car. First pickup is some Duracell D14. Our last pickup is our Ziploc gallon freezer, 152 bags. We're gonna get a churro, but this is our last actual pickup. That's kind of more expensive than a dollar. Our actually last pickup of the day is these sweet and salty peanut nature valley bones. Hey guys, I'm back at the cribbo, or I'm upstairs in my dad's office, and I'm home. I got all my stuff in my Lucky Taco Bus container. I know I already went through that video, but all the footage kind of doesn't fit my my storage, so that's good. So, I'll try and cut it down. But, so first, let's go with the cheapest. Boom! Some eggs. They were 97 cents. So, I just figured, why not? Let's get one out here. But I'm very thankful. Like, oh, crap it all. It's exploded. Rip. What a way to waste 40 seconds of my video. But, it says... No human consumption. Not for human consumption. I'm very glad it says that. Because if not, I, I would have just ate those. Like, 
Are you crazy? So first, let's get off what the basis of this trip was. This was pretty much what I just wanted. This is pretty much the basis of this trip. This half ounce jig. It rattles. I mean, it's black and blue. It just looks like black on the thing, but it's black and blue. I think it's a half ounce jig. It is a, yeah, it's a half ounce Striking Pro Model Jig Premier Striking. What? I don't know what kind of jig this is, but I think I'm just going to call it Pro Model Jig. It came with this little plastic thing, but that's that. So, two baits out of the way, a couple more to go. I spent $21 on this trip. So with that, oh, this is, I'm going to save that for last. You guys just got a sneak peek. Uh, we got, this is not really supposed to be meant for jigs, but I got it just to try it. I'm going to need to get some 4 offsets now just to actually try and fish these. I don't have much areas around me that this would be good for, but I just decided why not try it. kind of looks like my jig trailers and my uh, mystery tackle box that I got. It's almost like... Like it's got that, and it's got some. It's got some of these little things on the side. It's like a centipede. It's got some scent on it. Almost like a fish scent. Oh uh, yeah, it's got some juices. Probably a blend of enzymes that are Uh, so uh, next we got these super tiny one thirty second ounce twenty five jig heads. Uh, and then we got, second to last, we get these Havoc 3-inch Pit Boss Junior Skeet Reeds Design Blue, uh, Black and Blue Jig Trailer. It's like a little centipede. I got it super small because my jig's pretty small. I mean, I don't know how to fish a jig, so this is just a starter rate. I got a bunch of centipedes looking stuff because... I don't know how to fish or other. And then last but not least, guys, this is this is crazy. Some Havoc swim baits. They're a sick fish design. And they're pretty sick. Get it, get it. Sick fish. Sick fish. So here it is. It comes with two of these. I absolutely love how this bait looks. Might not perform well, but it just looks amazing. Look at this bait. This fish, it's got some like thing underneath it. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there. I'm not sure. No, that's not supposed to be there. Shh, that was never there. Um, yeah, that's that. Um, oh, that's just from this exploded thing, trout bait. But I think this bait looks amazing. Personally, it's got like this nice propeller thing on the back. The wings look amazing, and it just looks sick. And then, like, that looks like it's been hooked and it's bleeding. So, I think this is probably the best performing bait that I'll have, but I'm not sure. And then it comes with the second one in there. And, yeah, that was what I got from Dix for $21. So, I'm going to just make another video on how I'm going to hook all these stuff. And what I'm going to use with them. So, hope you guys did enjoy this Dick's Shopping Spree video. I didn't get much film. It was kind of loud in there. It was kind of awkward because there was a bunch of people. But next time I go, I'm still going to film no matter what. So, hope you guys did enjoy. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Sorry that I'm looking over here. I'm just, 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 just distracting. So, I will see you guys later. Peace. Oh, wait, never mind. Actually, the one thing that I'm not going to show you how to hook is the sick fish because I don't have any hooks for that. But see you guys later. Peace. Now. Bye.